hey what's up guys and welcome to the channel again in this particular session we will be continuing on from where we left in the last session so in the last session we will be looking into the different search algorithms or uh, the linear search and the binary search uh, this session would be mostly based around the implementations of it okay so when when i say implementations i mean uh, how do you uh, apply this particular search algorithm in in different in different problems okay so when we talk about uh, the, the different types of searches mostly we are uh, we have implementation related questions inside um, the binary search so binary search is very very important we'll be recapping uh, what a binary search is how its code looks like when we solve the problems and uh, uh, so yeah as, as i told that these are uh, like asked in many different ways these gets uh, these get uh, asked in 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 forms of questions in which it will be very difficult to understand that you need to apply a binary search but basically to identify that your problem needs to use a binary search algorithm uh, you basically uh, tend to see some patterns like uh, your array is sorted or something like that so that that will give you a very good idea about um, the usage of binary search algorithms okay so in this particular session um, we'll be looking all those questions um, and and many more like there will be multiple series of it i'll be adding more questions uh, when when we go on right so before we proceed i will just request you to uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not um, and uh, stay tuned for more and more videos on interview questions or uh, the different data structure algorithms and design questions and yeah let's get started so this is a recap of what we learned in the last session right this is this is what is basically um, uh, the above one is the binary search which uh, which runs in log n complexity and the lower one is linear search right that runs in n complexity and it's quite uh, obvious like uh, binary so why we prefer binary search over linear search because the iterations you make in binary search is very very less in comparison to the linear search on your screen if you see uh, if we have to find nine using binary search uh, the first of all what we do uh, so the main uh, motto of the main uh, the requirement for using a binary search is the array should be sorted here it is okay so that gives us a chance to apply the binary search so in binary search you take the mid element you compare your key so here nine and we compare nine with five and then move on to the right or the left direction so here you will move on to the right direction and discard the first left half right one two three four gets discarded straight away and again it it uh, the right hand side is partitioned into two uh, two sub arrays the left half is again discarded and we move on to the right sub array and so on and so forth and you see that the number of iterations get uh, by two uh, like divided by two each of the times and finally you either get the element or you return um, a minus one from it which we uh, the code we saw in the last uh, in in the last session right. Um, We'll be recapping the binary search code again. Okay, um, uh, not to mention that we will not go in depth of uh, linear search. That's pretty simple and very less questions uh, you can expect. Uh, you will solve with linear search and would get ex uh, accepted, right? So you always tend to use binary search in all those scenarios where your list is sorted. You need to find a partition. You need to find a range in which you need to search and so on and so forth. So let's get started and see some of the problems. Okay. So the first uh, question we will be looking into is uh, search an element from a rotated sorted array. Okay. Um, so uh, basically what a rotated sorted array is, suppose you have an array um, on the screen, you can see the question it's from lead code. Okay. You can, uh, you can search this question over lead code and it, it's a very, 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 um, uh, it, it's, it's getting asked very frequently in the different interviews like Walmart, Microsoft, uh, Google, um, and all those like in, in the basic coding round, you will tend to see these questions, even in the screening round in Facebook, you will see this question. So it's very important to understand this. Uh, uh, what what the crux of this pro problem is and how do you approach to get the solution and how do we apply binary search that that's the important part here right so so to start with right uh, what's a rotated sorted array so suppose you have an array uh, on your screen you can see this is the array right zero one two three so this is a plain sorted array right so if it is rotated uh, to it, it is rotated from uh, the place uh, say say you are keeping 0 1 2 at 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 the same place 
and rotating from four so if you rotate it one two three four places it will become something like this okay so in this particular problem you will not be given any pivot like from where the array was rotated you will just be given this particular array okay so here for simplicity of the question and understanding uh, uh, the array or uh, the sorted array is given but you will not be given any uh, any sorted array sequence you will just be given the next uh, array which is four five six seven zero one two and from this array you need to find an element whether that element is present or not and you have to return the index out of it okay so uh, this particular array is of course sorted and then rotated okay so sorted and rotated if you see a pattern like how it was rotated right so you will see one half is ideally ideally both of the half uh, both halves if you divide from the pi word both the halves will get uh, will be we, you will find it as, as sorted right so here 0 1 2 is sorted 4 5 6 7 is sorted right so both halves are sorted uh, it can be rotated from any pivot it's not necessary that it is rotated from mid so you need to basically apply some sequence or some logic or some pattern that will basically make this make the use of binary search here so if we tend to search in 4 5 6 7 of course we can apply the binary search right and if we tend to search in 0 1 2 we can search um, we can use the binary search again so we, the both sub arrays can be uh, can be you know uh, so ca can be treated as sub problems and we can search our target in in those particular arrays okay so this is the question okay and how we'll solve this that will make your uh, that will make your uh, like uh, intuition a lot clearer when we type on the code okay and see how it actually works uh, so when you search, uh, so so basic algorithm is you will find the mid, okay, uh, and uh, with the mid you will just check that the left from the start to the beginning to to the start to the end and the mid to the end is both uh, which one is sorted and based on that like the first half is sorted or the second half is sorted based on whatever half is sorted you will go ahead and go and search it okay search the element inside it so code would be very simple like it's, it will be a tweaked binary search okay we will be seeing how uh, the binary search is tweaked to solve this problem okay so let's see that so the code is even more simple okay uh, how we do this is uh, we create we will create a, a, a normal uh, class which will have uh, which will have this particular thing uh, uh, the logic for to have the search and this search will be basically a tweaked binary search right and the two when, when I say tweaked binary search is it's basically um, it's basically doing something similar to binary search but there are some conditions which we will be manipulating on so it's it's pretty simple okay uh, so when you uh, when you when you do actual start of this particular algorithm or uh, it will be looking like it will it it is a normal it will take a uh, array and it will take the target okay and it it will be taking two variables right the low and the high and then we will be uh, inside the low and uh, inside the low and the high we will be uh, doing this uh, doing this manipulation right uh, so let's let's type out and then we'll try to understand what what's happening okay so we have low and high okay and after we have low and high we uh, we go and uh, we go and do the same check what we do in binary search and we do the three computations right if it is equal to mid greater than mid or less than equal to mid okay and and based on that we basically uh, uh, no come to know that basically the where that element is so the main tweak is there are uh, there there is in in two parts you can understand the problem okay the one part is uh, uh, when we apply a normal binary search okay um, so uh, from line number 14 to line number uh, 20 you will see uh, a very common pattern right uh, 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 like it, it looks like very much a binary search and here you see that it's comparing it's, it's doing the same computation like if it is checking that the low low of the array is greater than or equal to the mid and if it is it just goes and and, and uh, does the computation for the other logic what we want to give like we want to check that the target is greater than num of low and, or the target is less than mid so basically we are checking that uh, so first in the in, on line number 14 we have checked that the array the left part of the array is sorted right 
and uh, when we have got that the left part is sorted we'll go inside that and inside that we will check for the target whether the target is is lying between them if it is then basically you are updating high to mid minus one if not then you will be doing a uh, low is equal to mid plus one so that you uh, narrow down the searches like the narrow down the at uh, iterations each time and similarly when you are basically uh, going on to the on to the else part so this line number 14 uh, this this told uh, that uh, the left part of the array is sorted so you were searching in that particular zone if this was false you are going to the right part of the array which is saying that the right part is sorted and you have to find something in the right part of the array and you will be comparing your target again that whether your target lies uh, from mid to high and then basically updating the mid and uh, updating the low and the high uh, based on that so you can see that it's it's almost the binary search but but the main tweak is that you have to bifurcate it into two parts one is line number 14 which you are very much concerned about that the number is basically less than or equal to mid where it shows that the left part is sort, sorted and on the uh, and the second part that is the right hand side that is the else part which shows that right uh, uh, right uh, the, the right part of the array is sorted so once you are done with all these iterations and you move along the array at the end you will be able to get that particular element where that element was at. like the index where you will be able to find that index so you can see we have taken created a main class and inside that we are just trying to uh, do this manipulation uh, we are trying to call that algorithm which we just wrote and it gives us the right uh, output right it, it gives us what what we were expecting of so this is how basically uh, you can tweak binary search to find something from the rotated sorted array uh, so we'll be looking into the next problem uh, which is to search an element from an infinite sorted array okay uh, so this problem is again uh, one of the implementations of uh, binary search okay how we can uh, implement binary search we'll be just looking into a moment uh, we'll just look into that in a moment but uh, the main imp uh, the main crux of this is uh, the because the array is sorted uh, we are thinking in a sense that we can apply binary search of course the the problem says that the array is infinite and inside binary search we are most more, more concerned about the low and the high and here the high is not basically known so uh, so it's a bit confusing how we will be applying binary search but we can okay based on some tweaks and uh, some some uh, some thinking we can apply binary search here as well so uh, just uh, uh, you we, we can see the question on the screen like what what the question is so given an infinite sorted array or an array with unknown size find if a given target value is present in the array write a function to return the index of the target if it is present in the array otherwise return minus one so it's pretty simple you will be given a sorted infinite array of course to demonstrate i have used um uh, i have used um, a limited size array but assume that you don't have any control to the high um uh, of course you know the low because it starts from zero but you are not aware of what the high of that particular array is going to be and you need to find the target inside that particular array and um how you will apply binary search just think about it uh, it's it's it may be a bit uh, 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 you can think of it as a growth of algorithms how the algorithm will grow like it's you are given an infinite array an infinite array you have to find some range in which your uh, target element can be present or not present okay um, if it is present you will have to return the index if it is not then you have to return minus one so uh, the main thinking behind this is uh, you will start from the first element okay you will start from zero uh, as your low and one will be your uh, the first index will be your high and you will just try to see um, whether your target is is either uh, either in either one of them and if not you will just try to multiply your high uh, by uh, by two okay you will keep multiplying your high by two and update the low with the high so the low the new low will be your your old high and your new high will be uh, the high it was into two okay so you can see how the algorithm will grow it will it can grow very very fast like uh, you can see the multiple of two two four eight um, then 16 32 64 it, it will go exponentially and it uh, basically in that particular range 
um, you can find where whether your element is present or not okay so that will basically optimize the algorithm as well and you can apply the binary search because the thing uh, because because of the fact that you know, your array is sorted okay so this is uh, basically uh, one of the implementations and and, and 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 a good question around binary search so let's see into the code of it okay how how does it look like so the code is also very simple okay uh, we will be uh, we'll be writing a uh, we'll be writing a method that will be basically uh, doing that binary search computation based on the low and the high we decided so the low will be updated um, after each of the iteration with the new uh, with the with the old high and the new high will be basically two into the old high okay and this is vertically uh, this this is the main crux or the main logic of it and when you do the iterations using uh, low, uh high is greater than equal to low and and with the algorithm of normal binary search and applying this these two conditions which i just just told you will be able to find that particular element okay so we'll be starting up with um, a normal class creating uh, infinite binary search okay and we'll just um, uh, create the method so that we have made it static so that we can test it from the main function uh, and we have taken array uh, low right and, and x so the so i will just show you the first the binary search okay um, now how the binary search looks like and then probably at the end we can see how our algorithm will look like so this this particular algorithm uh, is basically recursive uh, binary search on the screen right it's, it's pretty much what we saw in the last session so this is the binary search code um, which which does uh, the manipulations of low and high and keeps on updating the indexes and finally gives you an element whether it is present or not so now let's look into the actual code okay so from um, line onwards after the binary search you can see that uh, the algorithm is basically uh, you have to take the low okay the low is zero and high as i told uh, the high is taken as one and then particular val uh, will be your first element and you will compare whether it is uh, uh, less than your key to find or greater than key to find if it is less than then you will be basically making your old high okay you will be making your old high as um, as as the uh, as the old one okay uh, your old high will be becoming the new uh, the old high will be becoming the new low and the low uh, and the high will be updating uh, to um, uh, multiplied by two incrementally okay so this is uh, basically you can see at uh, at these two positions the main logic is happening so l is getting updated to high and 2 into high is if less than equal to array dot length minus 1 then high is getting updated by twice of what the high was so we are in this way we are basically letting the algorithm uh, uh, solve this problem in multiple uh, in in log n times right we are multiplying the range each time by 2 and after that uh, we are searching in that particular zone so you can see how we can narrow down our searches using a binary search okay um, and this particular um, uh, in, in this particular problem of course the high was not known but still we are able to apply the binary search in in, in this particular problem so this is uh, what basically uh, you no know, makes binary search so effective okay and this solves in with log n complexity all the problems what we saw they get solved in log n complexity and these two are important problems get asked again and again in many of the interviews okay so you just keep a track of it like you practice them um, it's it's very simple to uh, remember something by doing practice rather than just looking into the code looking into the code will not help you any any time you need to just practice it on your um, ide and you will be uh, now seeing the benefits very soon when you know do practice over lead code or geeks for geeks you'll be very much uh, seeing uh, your practice making a lot of benefit to your uh, you know, competitive programming edge as well okay so yeah this was uh, basically two of the important questions of binary search we'll be looking lot more uh, around it I, I have just given you a glimpse of what binary search problems can be and what range of binary search problems can be okay and we'll be looking lot more of them when we when we proceed ahead and with uh, with lots more uh, uh, tweak problems and and combination of some algorithms with binary search those are also very important so yeah we'll be looking all of them uh, pretty soon okay uh, hope you like the content okay and um, if if you definitely uh, like me to create more videos around it uh, do subscribe to my channel and you know, mention down in the comments below to uh, what do you want me to cover okay and i will come with uh, all important questions and all uh, everything 
um, no that is relevant for a tech interview okay uh, till then okay take care bye bye and see you soon